We're getting ready to shoot 400 yards here today with the Ruger 1022 VLE, Taylor edition. Um, right now we're sighted in and zeroed at uh, 100 yards for the Velocitor, CCI Velocitors. Uh, there's the uh, sub, the advertised uh, feet per second, the 1435, and for, um, well, I was going to say for you metric folks, but they don't have the metric meters per second on there. Anyway, 1435 feet per second. This is a short barrel. This is a 16-inch barrel, so I think we're going to get getting close to about 1400 feet per second. And that's what I have... Um, that's what I've put into my ballistics calculator uh, is 1,400 feet per second at uh, 0.132 ballistic coefficient. So it's again zeroed at 100 yards for these velocitors. I have reset my turret on the uh, vortex. Let's see. Let's see. Hopefully you can get that here. Uh, the vortex diamond back. This is the replacement scope that I've put on this gun uh, in place of the vortex crossfire which I will do a separate video on, um, talking about uh, the uh, the replacement process and stuff that I've went through on this scope. This is a bit, this is an upgrade, this uh, Vortex Diamondback, it's a 4x12x40, uh, let's see, I'll show you the, the uh, ring on it. Um, it's a bit nicer, the fit and finish is nicer, it has these nice resettable turrets. The other one did as well, but I didn't use the resettable turrets on that one just because it... Uh, um, wasn't working for me very well, and I'll talk about that again in the video as well. We don't have any wind today, um, very nominal, nominal, which is perfect. We're going to be shooting downrange at the gong, which is at 400 yards, and I'm going to show you that on the uh, Leica uh, 1200 rangefinder. So we're going to, I'm going to actually verify the range on camera with you. So we're going to be shooting this at 400 yards. Um, what we need to do is this is a, four, a 15 MOA dial, so if we turn it up, okay, so we're going to go up an entire twist. That is going up 14, or that's going up 15 MOA. And now we're going to dial it one more, all the way around. And that puts us zero at 300 yards. So two full twists of this which is 30 MOA, puts us at zero at 300 yards. Now we need to add an additional 19.5 MOA. So we're going to go ahead and twist it another full rotation. Okay, that puts us... Oh, okay, so we've bottomed the scope out here. So we're going to back it off to, to 10. Okay, so this 10 MOA. So we've actually... Um, I was afraid of that. I was going to... Bo we're bottoming out that scope um, right there at... Um, uh, that's 40 MOA. Fortunately, we have a ballistics drop um, reticle in this, and let me see if I can show you that here. Let's see if I can get it. There you can see the uh, ballistics drop reticle. The lower post there is 11 MOA, so we should be able to, um, you know, uh, calculate the difference on the ballistics drop. Real quick, I wanted to show you the um, the actual specs on the ballistics drop on this reticle for the cro the Diamondback, Vortex Diamondback. So we've got an 11 inch um, drop there and so what I'm going to do is actually back it off a few MOA so to make it even with the 11 inch um, 11 inch drop and I'll just use the bottom uh, bottom drop crosshair there at 11 MOA to hold dead on at 400 yards so hopefully we'll hit it then so just wanted to show you that show you how I'm working out the calculations there okay so I backed it off uh, a minute and a half so that the bottom part of the uh, the bottom dot on the dead hold reticle uh, should be right on at 400 now so um, we're gonna take an initial couple shots to sight it in and then we'll get you on camera Okay, I've done some adjusting, and as far as I can tell, I'm hitting pretty much right on that gong. So, I'm not quite sure. I just think I'm having a hard time hearing the actual ring of it. So, I think that's the, I think that's the biggest issue at this point in time. So, I'm going to go ahead and keep taking some shots and listen for that ring. You know, it's not hitting very hard at 400 yards, and so it's not making that gong really sing a lot. And so... I think I'm hitting it though. Um, from what I can tell when I'm shooting into the dirt, it's nailing, it's going right where I'm aiming. So, so 
I think I'm on it. So here we go. Whoa. Yep, that's a hit. That's a hit. 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 Oh, I didn't hear that one. Hit. 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 <laughs> I didn't hear that last one either, but. <laughs> Guys, this is 400 yards with a 22 rim fire. Um, I'm pretty impressed. <laughs> I mean, I don't want to float my own boat or anything, but but this little gun has just been in, impressive in its capability. Not only that, but this, um, you know, shooting the Vortex Diamondback here, uh, really good, really good scope. I like it. Um, it's definitely a step up from the crossfire I had on it. And I'll have to say these these velocitors for your long range shooting is about the best you can you can get a hold of. So I I'm really 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 stinking impressed with how accurate they are. I hope hopefully you guys can see this see the hits on camera. Um, you know, 400 yards is kind of quite a long ways away, uh, but I could hear the I could hear the hits. They're pretty faint, but they're definitely there. So. I'm gonna do another couple mags at 400 yards here with the velocitors. That last mag, I'm pretty sure I got eight out of 10 hits at 400 on the gong. Um, I couldn't hear a couple. They might, they may have been hits. I couldn't hear them though, and so I couldn't verify. I'll have to watch. I'll have to check out the. Uh, I'll have to check out the video afterwards and annotate as I go in, go along. So let's take some, let's do a couple more mags at 400 yards. We've picked up a little bit of a breeze here now, and so we've got to uh, compensate a little bit for it, but we're just going to see how it hits here. Okay, that was off to the left. We've got a left to right breeze, so I'm going to go ahead and uh, bring it over a couple minutes at least bring it to the right dial it to the right a little bit that was a hit that was a hit I think Couldn't tell. Couldn't tell. Breeze just dropped off, so I'm going to dial it back to zero. That was a hit. Mm, couldn't tell. Couldn't tell. Couldn't tell. I think I'm I think that breeze is still there. So I'm gonna dial back another couple minutes.
Okay, I, I hit to the right on that one, so I'm going to dial back a minute. I can see the gong and there's a bunch of hits all over it so I know I've been hitting it that was high I think I think I might have nicked, the, nicked it though I'm gonna drop it down a couple couple clicks that's a hit that's a hit that's a hit ha <laughs> Ended on a hit. All right, guys, that's some 400 yard shooting with the uh, Taylor Ruger 1022 VLE. Thanks for coming along. See ya.